Hello Internet, Retro Kevin here. In today's video, I'm going to be taking apart the shell of a Nintendo 64 and cleaning it up a little bit. So, without further ado, let's head over to the workbench and get to the good stuff. Here's the N64 we'll be working with today. Look at that, 1995? It's rare to find these that cheap these days. Anyway, using a 4.5 millimeter Nintendo bit, we'll remove the six screws on the bottom of the console to open it up. These aren't normally on the system. Somebody added tamper-proof void tape to the two sides here. Probably a renter sore from back in the day? I don't know. So with the top of the shell out of the way, we'll remove the 14 screws holding the motherboard down. We'll be taking note of the different sizes of the screws along the way. I'm going to be setting the motherboard off to the side. I did go into detail in my last video on how to tear this down and clean it up. This piece must have came off one of the controller ports. I did see a chip off the port earlier, and I'm glad it was on the inside of the system. I'll just glue this on later. Now we have two screws on either side of the cartridge tray. You can set these off by themselves, or they are the same size as a couple of the screws on the motherboard. Take note on how these springs are positioned, and set them off to the side in a safe spot. For general cleaning, I've been using vehicle interior wipes. The brand shouldn't matter, just make sure that it's for rubber, vinyl, and plastic. Let's get the power and reset buttons out for a proper cleaning as well. There's some gunk on the reset button here that was causing it to stick. I'll remove this tamper sticker crap later on. To get in the vents, I'm going to be using pretty much a bent flathead screwdriver. Later I'll come back with a toothbrush which does seem to work better. However, this does work pretty well at getting to other hard to reach areas. For other areas, I will be using cotton swabs. For that sticker residue, I'll be using denatured alcohol. Isopropyl, also known as rubbing alcohol, works about as good as well. I'll soak this part to take care of that larger sticker. Like I said before, the toothbrush is great at reaching these finer detail spots. Ha! <laughs> 
<laughs> More sticker residue. We know what to do with this crap. Once everything has time to dry, we will put it all back together. I am not going to do that. Because I still want to tear into that motherboard. I've covered that in more detail in my last video, so I'm not going to get into that now. So today we saw a more detailed teardown and cleaning of the N64 shell. Couple that with my last video where I went into more detail of the motherboard and you have yourself a fully cleaned, restored system. Well, I hope you liked this video. And if you really enjoyed it, please like, comment, and subscribe, as it'll really help out me and the channel a whole lot. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you next time.